If you're ever working with pop-up graphics or text in Adobe After Effects, you can add some more life to them by using this expression. If you open up the drop-down menu for your image or text layer, and open up the position section under the transform menu by holding the option key and clicking on the stopwatch icon for keyframes, you'll see this expression box pop up. Now you can type whatever you want here, but under this drop-down menu with this little arrow, you have a bunch of preset expressions starting points. So under the properties section, you can find one called Wiggle. So if you try to press play now, nothing will happen because you haven't filled in the frequency. So let's say we do a frequency of one and an amplitude of 10. That'll make it wiggle every one second. Uh, 10 pixels, either in the X or I direction. So that's a gentle floating starting point. You can also try experimenting with more. So let's say a 1 and a 100 would look more like this, a lot larger wiggle room, and even let's say 10 and a 100 would look a lot faster and chaotic, a lot more wiggle room. So for a gentle float that just adds some visual interest, something like 1 in 10 is a good starting point. And what I've done here to add just even a little bit more of a touch is right-clicking on this image, going to Layer Styles, and I've just added a drop shadow effect. So under the layer style section, you can see the drop shadow added, and you can change the color, the opacity, the angle, and the distance. So you can create a little drop shadow, maybe increase the size a bit, to get it even a little bit more pop out for life. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.